Hi, today I have an easy genetics problem for you. I hope most of you would be able to solve it on your own. And here is a problem. In a corn, the trait for the tall plants is capital T and dominant to the trait for the dwarf plants, small t. And the trait for the colored kernels is capital C is dominant to the trait for the white kernels, that is uh, small c. In a particular cross of the corn plants, the probability of an offspring being tall is one half and the probability of the kernel being colored is three quarters. Which of the following most probably represents the paternal genotype? You may stop video here and try to solve this problem. And those of you who wouldn't be able to solve it, uh, just follow my explanation. And here I want to start from the answer E and uh, first of all we told that after the cross uh, we have uh, for example here uh, we have a father genotype and for example this is a mother plant and we told that tall plants should represent one half and tall plants could be of the two genotypes for example capital T capital T and also capital T and small t. Both these genotypes would result in a tall plant. And also we told that uh, such genotype should be one half in progeny. So this is going to be one half. And uh, also for the uh, color of the kernels we told that this going to be three quarters and um, we can get colored kernels if we have capital C capital C and capital C small c so these both genotypes would result in the uh, colored kernels and we told that we have to get them three quarters in our progeny and also the other way to represent this to uh, this four genotypes would be uh, for the tall plant we may say capital T and blank space and for the colored uh, kernels we may say capital C and blank space and blank space stand uh, for uh, whether it can be uh, tall plant or uh, capital T or small t, uh, the result would be the same. For example, if we put capital T here or small t, this is going to result in the mm. tall plant. And same thing here, we can put capital C or small c here and the result would be colored kernels. So now let's solve for E and for example we have capital T, capital T for the, uh, for the uh, tall plant in parent 1 and capital T small t in parent 2 and now we just use uh, Punnett square and for example we put capital T, capital T here and capital T, small t here and let's see what the genotype we may get. So capital T, capital T here, capital T, capital T here, small t, capital T here and small t, capital T here. So uh, this is going to be 100% tall plants and we told that uh, we should get a half uh, of the plants should be tall. So we can cross out this answer E. We even don't have to check for the uh, color of the kernels because our first requirement is not met. Let's move to the answer D. And we have capital T, capital T and small t, small t. Once again we can draw a Punnett square 
and uh, on one side we have capital T's and on the other side small t's and small t capital T here 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 once again 100% of uh, progeny of such cross would be tall plants and answer D is also doesn't meet our requirements. Uh, let's move to the answer C and we have capital T small t we have to cross with small t small t so capital T small t with small t small t so heterozygous with homozygous recessive Here we have capital, uh, small t capital T and small t small t small t capital T small t small t and now you see that 50% would be small plants and another 50% would be tall plants so our first requirement is met so this is going to be one half plus one half Let's now take a look at the uh, locus C and we have uh, for the same plant capital C small c and small c small c here and what we are going to get here is going to be uh, capital C small c capital C small c small c small c small c small c so once again one half plus one half and we looking for the result that would produce us three quarters of the color it and here we have only one half so we can cross out answer C and with uh, answer B we have uh, heterozygous one parent here and heterozygous uh, another parent here so we have to cross capital T small t and capital T small t here and this would produce capital T capital T here small t capital T here capital T small t here and small t small t here so um, three out of four would be tall plants and one quarter would be uh, small plants so we have here three quarters tall and one quarter is short so we also can cross out answer B and what we left is only answer A but let's uh, check it for the cap uh, heterozygous uh, locus for the tallness and the uh, homozygous recessive we already solve it here we have heterozygous one parent and homozygous recessive and this produces one half tall plants and one half uh, small plants so we meet our requirement here and also we have uh, heterozygous for the second locus that stands for the color of the kernel and heterozygous uh, for the same uh, locus for the other parent and we also have a solution here uh, one heterozygous parent and another heterozygous parent uh, but this is for the tallness of the plant but the results here would be the same so three quarters would be colored plants and one quarter would be white kernel plants so our answer would be A, 
I hope you were able to solve this problem correctly. For those of you who didn't know how to solve it, I hope now you would be able to solve such problems if you will uh, find on your exams. Thank you for your attention. That's all for today. Goodbye.